day in May. The weather is pretty overcast, it's a little bit breezy, but the forecast says that it should brighten up. So I'm here with myself and Adam, Edale Information Centre. Our plan is to head up Kinder Scout, so we've got a full round route. We'll keep you posted with how we get on and see you later. We've set off from the Visitor Information Centre, we left that on our right hand side and the church is on our left and then we kept on walking so we've come off the main road now so you just spot the Old Nags Head pub which you can't miss if you're looking out for and on the left there's a sign that says Pennine Way and that's the route that we're following. just come to the first junction and I wanted to show you where we are on the map. The information centre was around here. We walked up with the church on our left and then we walked, kept on going up and then the sign that said Pennine Way was here. So now we're on this pink path here and we're just at this junction where we can go off to the right or straight over and what we want to do is continue going straight over. Then follow this pink line footpath round all the way up Pennine Way, up Jacob's Ladder, and then we're going to continue to go up, 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 Kinder Low, and then we get onto Kinder Scout, and then we lose it around the map. It goes off the map and then back down around here. And then we continue to follow through a little bit of forestry bit, and then back down where we'll meet the main road again, and we're close to where we started. So that's the route that's going to take us about five hours or so. So we're only about 20 minutes into our walk and the scenery is just spectacular. All we can hear is birds and sheep and our footsteps and look at the back. How amazing is that? It was free. It cost four pounds of car parking and the petrol it took to get us here and that is it. We can't buy this kind of beauty. Look, just look at it. What more do you want? So we've now left the footpath and we've come to another crossroads and we want to not go left, instead we want to continue round to the right and we want to find where there's another road. So we're now in Upper Booth. We have walked all the way along the path, which um, was absolutely beautiful, some gorgeous scenery there. And then we just went through some houses um, and now we are at a river, which is around this area here. And we want to follow the road up and then along. So you can see that that is here and you need to, there it is. And you need to watch out for Jacob's Ladder. So there's a signpost that we just showed you. Um, and Jacob's Ladder is, of course, all the way up here. We've continued to walk up Pennine Way. We have left the road, and now we are continuing along the footpath bit. Got the map out, and Adam was straight in with the treats. And we've got a gorgeous, healthy selection of mixed nuts and apricots. Beautiful. How do you feel about them? Sounds good. Cool. Lovely. Lovely. See Lovely. you later.
spot by the beautiful river just at the bottom there if you can see with the bridge going over the top gorgeous babbling brook and quite popular it looks like there's lots of people down there so we'll show you on the map where we're up to we've gone along the road here um, we passed the houses that are on the left and the right and then we've continued to go up and here where we actually put our little arrow we reckon that's where we are now there's a big national trust sign that actually says Jacob's Ladder at the bottom of it and that's where a really pretty spot is so if you are walking along and you're wanting to stop off for a picnic we would recommend that that would be a good spot so we're on our way up Jacob's Ladder assume this is what they meant by Jacob's Ladder it's a very steep path with lots of cobbledy bits on it so totally doable but make sure you've got a good pair of shoes on we have finished coming up Jacob's Ladder and we've stopped off for some picnic um, we're having tomato and ham sandwiches we've got a bit of popcorn as well on the go um, so of course we'll make sure we take all of our rubbish behind us and not to leave a trace behind. Then I think we're going to be continuing to head up the path. So we're just going to finish up our bite to eat and we'll keep on going. We'll see you later. Wow, how low is that cloud? It's time to check the map. Because we could end up going in the wrong direction. Where are we going, Adam? have a look. We've just been asked by two other walking groups where we are. I think that just because if you've got a map it looks like we know what we're talking about. But we haven't yet. So I've had a little look a couple of times and I think we're here on the map. Here is the crossroads. I hope you can see that. And this is the great big mound of stone. To my left is a huge rock formation and a path. And to the right, you can't see because I'm kneeling down, but that's also a path as well. To continue on our route, I think that we need to follow the path that way, and we'll find a trig point over there. It'd be good to know whether or not we're going in the right direction. Add a great big rock formation at Edel Cross, which is here. So we're going to go and have a little look at that first. This is absolutely delightful. It's really windy, so I'm glad we've got a good grip on the old rock. Follow up for the massive mound of rocks that we found. Have a good climb around, because that's good fun. And then continue to follow the path up and that's where the trig spot is there. Just walking around in this beautiful countryside and Adam found a plastic water bottle top. That looks like Evian or Buxton, the big bottle. Don't listen people, animal could chew it, bite it, swallow it, die. Not good. But don't worry, we'll put it in our bag and we will recycle it when we get home. That's Kinder Reservoir. He's confident. Should I check the map? We're around about here, and that's there. So, Kinder Reservoir. Nice. What more do you want? <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> it's free. It's on your doorstep. Hey, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at our step cow. Hey, Al. Hey. Okay. So what did we start off on? About one foul? Yeah. And what are we on now? 11,778. 11,778. 5.2 miles. 5.2 miles. 119 floors. 119 floors. So the guide said 
well the blog that I went on said that the this walk is about 8.8 .8 miles and we've probably got well, about another three miles to go which is great of kinder downfall if we have more time we may well have a paddle and stop off for a bit more of a picnic but i think really we need to keep on heading out but this is just so pretty it's well worth the walk to find this little gem of natural beauty we've just had a bit of fun over at the um kinder downfall so now we're going to continue along the route so we just needed to find our path again hello hello <laughs> and I'll show you where we are or at least where we think we are here is Kinder Downfall so if we just turn that round we need to just make sure that the river is on our left hand side as you can see and then we're expecting to go straightish and then bear off to the left hand side there is the river on our left and there is a good path for us to follow <laughs> so we've been following the river across the reserve and we've come to a fork in the road which is here we've gone up the downfall now we have been following the river along and we are now here where the path goes off to the left hand side but we leave the river and it continues to go forwards and then it branches off itself so make sure that you just watch out for the cairn that's here i think it's called a cairn as you can see the river keeps going straight but we need to take the footpath that goes off to the left hand side following that red line along there so we then move the compass to point in the direction of where the line needs to be which is east I think that's right so therefore we need to be going that way so we've just finished walking over the moorland from that direction heading east ish and now we literally just came over the top and this is what greeted us Gorgeous. So we're going to continue to follow the path along, which I think will be a bit more distinguishable, but we'll keep checking our bearing and continue to head east, um, because it's in that direction that we'll just get back down to Edale. Now the paths come again to meet us so um, we can relax a little bit and put the compass away. Um, I'll show you where we are on the map. So you can see here that we've come down across here, um, across the moorland, and we've come across there where we met the cairn there, and then we've gone across the moorland. Um, so now we can see where there's a lot of gradient lines going all the way back down to Edale. So that's the path that we're going to follow. We've had a lot of debating over which way to go because we came to a crossroads at the top and the map shows that there's a ridge that goes along to the left and a ridge that goes along to the right. There's a very clear pathway that heads up over that hill 
map also says that the path we need to follow needs to um, run very close to the river. And the river is this gorge here, runs all the way down. And to be honest, looks like a bit of fun. So we're going to head down the gorge and over the rocks and just hope we don't put our foot wrong. I'm sure it'll be fine. So it's been a good half an hour now climbing down all of these rocks and we've still got a way to go and what we've realised is that actually if at the start we took the path on the left that took us what looked like across a ridge I think that that is this path here that we can see winding it is taking us a, it's a lot of fun climbing over the rocks but it is taking us forever to get down here so what we're going to do is cross over to the path over on the other side and then we're going to cover some ground pretty quickly and just go across the flat land. The scenery is just spectacular again. It's just Derbyshire is the land that just keeps on giving. Look at this behind and in front. It took me and Adam an hour to drive to the car park this morning but it was worth absolutely every minute of it highly recommend this walk um, take a map take a compass a really good pair of walking boots that you've already trodden in nicely and make sure that you're not rushed for time because it does take a while there's plenty of gorgeous picnic spots be prepared that there might be quite a few people also on the walk as well this seems to be quite popular i'm checking out oh that's pretty look it's just breathtaking. It's just gorgeous. 